Jim's dropping off his S2000. There he is, the man of the hour. Leaking radiator. It already has that brownish color. That's how you know when the radiator's possibly on its way out, but this one's cracked, so. We're gonna be doing upper hose, T-stat. Um, the bottom hose is on back order, so who knows when that's coming in. There it is, the upper tank. Yeah, you got the crustaceans over here. That, that, that's where it's leaking from. Yeah. So you know what, sometimes the crustaceans, what, what happens is it gets hard and it dries up and it actually seals it, but this one's coming out, so. Since Jim, the owner, is here, um, I'm going to let him deal with the carbon fiber. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not trying to scratch nothing. All right, let's begin. Man, I must say, this is a beautiful beauty cover you got going on here, Jim. I need me one of these. Ah, uh, yes, the beauty of lifting a lowered car. Here we are, draining the radiator. All right. Still draining. Speed up the process. Or not. So we got this nice little k &N intake. It's in our way. We're gonna have to remove it. So not really gonna go in depth with this since we already have a video on this. Radiator replacement, T-stat hoses on an S2000. We'll send the link in the description and you guys can check that video out. In the meantime, gotta get this done. So I got that bolt out. Now there's a bolt down here that doesn't look fun to get to. So I was thinking maybe just take this off right here. Then I need to get my fingers in there to hold the bolt so it won't spin on me. All right, got that bolt out. I'm using an extension and the swivel, but it's ready to come out. But that's gonna be fun putting back in. It's finally out. I'm not gonna take it out completely because you gotta take off this little boot, which is not a big deal, but it's already out of the way. So now I'm gonna start disconnecting the hose from up top and then hopefully the bottom and start doing the thermostat in a little bit. I'm gonna take off the overflow hose. Overflow hose coming off. There goes the screwdriver. All right, damn, why is this thing leaking? So next, taking the fans off. Actually, I normally would just take the fans out with the radiator, but I'm having a little bit of an issue and spacing issue to get to that clamp and that sensor down there, that temperature sensor. So I decided to take one of the fans off. I might even take this one off just for the heck of it. Okay, well, that's not good. You see how the radiator looks all impregnated? So this car looks like it's been in a wreck before. The AC condenser might be pushed on to this radiator. Or when we change this old one out, put the new radiator in, that condenser might be touching. I won't know until I take the radiator off. Let's see. All right, there you have it. If you see, the condenser is bent and it's rubbing onto this radiator. You gotta let him know, see how his AC is working. And if his AC isn't really working, we could go to town and bend that shit back. But let's see what happens. Did the best I could. Hopefully didn't mess up the AC condenser. Looks like we might be good. It's not rubbing. Pretty close though, but it's not hitting. That's all I care about. So now I've got to transfer these um, screw holders. It's the thing when you buy aftermarket, that's usually what you have to do, but not a big deal. So usually I put the fans all together, but in this case, it'll work for me putting the fans on last. All right, good to go. Right side fan is in. It's got to do the left side. So got to do the T-stat. It's right there somewhere. Can't see it from this angle. And it's tilted the other way. So it's different from the S2000CR that we did on the video on the radio replacement. Yeah, I'm just gonna have at it. There's no room in here. There's a intake manifold support bracket that's in the way. So that might need to come off. So I ended up taking up the intake support bracket off. Another bracket here, end up taking the IAC valve off. Yeah, this shit's a pain. See this right here? It's part of the manifold. It gets in the way of your hands. Um, the CR is definitely a lot easier to do versus this older um, 2004 S2000. Anyway, gonna button this up. Um, just gotta do the T stats down there. I'm probably gonna leave the upper hose off. So that way I have access to get my hands in there and yep, have at it. So after struggling, get this 
hose clamp out, finally out. I'm trying to take off this upper hose from its flange. Okay. I hear you crack lacking. Let's let go already. Come on, let go, bitch. <clears throat> Uh, whew. Okay, break time. Even use this pick to break it off a little bit. Jeez. Several minutes have passed. I could finally feel the hose moving. Oh man, it was a struggle, but uh, don't have enough memory to um on my phone to record all the struggle, but Oh, we earning it. Oh, shit. Ah, this shit hurt. Whew. Knuckle buster. All right, at least the hose is off. Now that we get that upper hose off, we could somewhat see the thermostat housing down there. You see that 10 millimeter? That's the top bolt. Then there's a bottom one I have to get from the bottom. So anyway, we're not changing the lower hose only because it's on back order right now through Honda. We could put an aftermarket hose, but we're not messing with that, man. This is gonna be all genuine hundred parts, man. So pretty much I'm just gonna change the thermostat. So I'm gonna just try unbolting the 10 millimeter bolts, get the T-stat out. All right, we underneath the car now. Trying to get it to that uh, 10 millimeter bolt. It's right there. So I just gotta loosen it. All right. Need more room, need more leverage. All right, the bolts are out to the thermostat housing. Just gonna have to wiggle it just a little bit. There we go. Time to make a mess. Let that do its thing. And I'll continue again in the morning. So this is where we left off last night. Check out the thermostat, slapping a new one in. There it is. Radiator hose, upper. And aftermarket doesn't come with the new cap. So got them genuine Honda radiator cap. Hopefully it fits since this is aftermarket. Okay, I matched up the old uh, radiator cap with the radiator. So we're good there. Got the uh, upper radiator hose to install, but before I do that, I'm gonna go ahead and slap on the uh, T-stat into the T-stat housing. Then I could put back the lower cover, or excuse me, lower hose that we're gonna reuse. So I'm getting ready to put the thermostat on. Right now I got some paper towels down there trying to soak up that cooling around the uh, thermostat housing. And put this together this is a setup so that way it goes only one way it says up this little um i don't know what you call it little dimple little notch that's how you'll know where to go there's a little notch in the housing i don't know if you can see it from here probably not let me see if i can zoom in nope terrible actually right there around that area there's a notch right there all right, have the gasket on. So the little notch, you want to put it right above the giggle valve or whatever they call this thing. The giggle valve. Ha ha. Too much crap in the way, so I was able to put the thermostat in inside the thermostat housing. And it's lined up perfect where that little notch is. It's on there. So just got to put the flange over it and we're good to go. So didn't really go in depth as much as I wanted to, but... No worries, we have another video on a newer S2000, a 2008 model. This is a 2004. And yeah, if you wanna see how I did it, it's just a little bit different layout, but same concept. There's more stuff in the way on this on these older ones, by the way, versus the new one. T-stat is finally on and we good to go. Just gotta do the upper hose and then all the stuff we took out just to get to it. After all that struggle, the upper hose is in, got the clamp in, the culprit 
was this uh, IAC mounting uh, bracket. I mean, it's not really a bracket, but it's where the bolts go through. It's uh, protruding down on the intake manifold, and this likes to dig into your knuckles. So anyway, had to remove that, remove the IAC. Actually, had to remove the IAC off of it. Two brackets, intake manifold bracket, bracket to the wiring harness where the cruise control cable gets held. All that was in the way, had to remove that. Also had to disconnect this air pump hose right here, smog device, had to bend it back. So it, it routes this way, then it goes onto this little diaphragm right here, diaphragm flange. So with that said, just like how they like to say in the Honda manual, just do the reverse of what you did and you're good to go. Time to put that bracket on. There you go, brackets back on, wiring harness clips are where they're supposed to be. Beautiful, beautiful. Good to go. Fans have come on and cycled. Yay, yay. Things we gotta do just to get your jack from a lowered car. And they're out. Here at my niece's birthday in lovely Mira Mesa. Eating some tacos real quick. All right, second plate. Second plate. Got some fellow subscribers over here. Fellow subscriber right there. Why not? Oh, I already tore up. Oh, you know, over here with a fellow, fellow subscriber right here, Gennaro's bro. Rendell wants to go play basketball one day. This is Kobe right I know right he's itching. Kobe. Uh, not really Kobe, but I got the Mamba mentality, yeah, you, got the Mamba you know. Mentality. You gotta have that. <laughs> gotta have it. Okay, last plate for real. For real, because they're leaving. Last plate, for real. <laughs> last plate. Last, last plate, plate, for real. All right.